Yeah, 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 at You Shine today, we have a wonderful young lady who's tearing up YouTube. Her name is That Sweet Poetry. Did you hear me? That Sweet Poetry. Hey, how are you, <laughs> Miss Beautiful? What's going on? I'm fine, thank you. Um, let, well, I want people to know all about you because I found you on YouTube and you made me laugh. <laughs> you gave me some instructions about love. <laughs> all from your, what is it, your university dorm room. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, where, where did that start? How comes? Um, basically, um, when I came to uni, I wasn't, it t I didn't intend to do the course I was studying. Um, my parents, obviously, African parents, um, they wanted me to do medicine. And I'm not a science person, I'm like a humanities person. And um, eventually I ended up taking law, but I had nowhere to like put my creative like spirit into. So someone was just like, you should have a YouTube channel, you should get one, you should get one, you should get one. And then I started doing poetry at first. Mm -hmm. And then I like makeup and stuff, and people suggested I do makeup, and then I started doing makeup. And then there was just this one day where I went to a really, really crap rave, and I was just I was just looking around, and I, I was thinking, I'm gonna put that in my head, so when I got, get home, I can just rant about it. Mm -hmm. I got home, and there was no light anywhere apart from in my toilet, so I put my toilet seat down, sat on the toilet, and just rant, and then, like, Two weeks later, it had like fifteen thousand views. Wow! Yeah, it was just insane. That that is yeah. insanity, but it's yeah. a beautiful insanity. I like <laughs> your originality and your creativity. Thank you. So after you did that rant, you got fifteen thousand views. You just thought to yourself, "Right, well, I'm going to do some more." Yeah. And I love, I love. Not only do you talk about makeup and you have a little laugh and a comedy joke, but you even give instructions about weave and, <laughs> and bullying. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a recent one. That's a recent one. Yeah. Well, let's let's take about your instruction about just daily living. I love yeah. that. Why do you think that's so important for young girls? Um, I just I'm like the oldest in my family, so I never really had um, anyone to talk to, and like my parents were quite um, stuck in their ways, so it it was quite hard to get advice about things in daily modern life um, from them, especially being like a black female mm -hmm. in Britain. So yeah, I kind of felt like I wanted to help other people kind of get through things. That's wonderful. So, and yeah. you do, and you did. <laughs> Thank you. And so tell me, what do you feel, um, where do you want to go with this journey? Because your views are building up, people are starting to know about you. <laughs> you know, you say you're, you're not a guru, I'm not a comedian, but you are all those things. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, so where are you going to go with that? Um, I, I, right now I don't know, I mean, like, it's, quite overwhelming because I do like I have a lot of opportunities now coming through and um, I've heard people say that I should do stand-up which is just ridiculous I'm not like when I say I'm not a comedian I, I know that sometimes I say things that can be funny mm -mm. but being a comedian is completely different to me I don't think it's just not something I want to do but um, I do want to eventually like kind of have a forum where like other people can show their work and show what they do like outside um, education and yeah hopefully build up my channel to more I, I want to like reach like a million views and stuff and you will and you hopefully. will there's no doubt about <laughs> that so <laughs> tell you. me one thing what inspires you to do what you do every day what, what's aspirational to you um it can be anything um like my one of my poems um I'm looking for a man. Was I, I did love that one. <laughs> Thank you. It had everything in there. You sounded <laughs> older than your years. Thank you very much. Mm -mm. <laughs> Sang. Oh, thank, thanks. No, yeah. She's like, thank you, Max. Thanks. Oh, <laughs> I'm just like, you need to own it. You need to own that goodness. You need to own it. That guru ness that she says you are. Yes, you thank can. You. <laughs> okay. Thank you. But, um, yeah, I think, I can't remember, I think a guy moved to me and he, um, I think he whistled or he said, um, so he called me babe or something and mm -hmm. I remember just being really pissed off about it mm -hmm. and I think that the opening line of the poem was like I don't call me babe or something like that yeah. and um, yeah so it can be anything that sparks me off like a crap raving experience or so on moving to me but um, yeah wonderful but who, who does inspire you um I think a lot of what inspires me is like sometimes my past mm. or like um like the bullying one, yes. Like people like who have like hurt me in the past, or um, even like friends. Like I'll be talking with my friend, mm -hmm. and she'll be like, 
like one of I have a video coming up soon um, hopefully with some people from overseas yeah but, um, yeah 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 and it started with she liked this guy and he wasn't into her and I was just like I'm gonna do a video about guys how to know if a guy's not into you that's or wonderful stuff like that yeah just talking to friends and things like that mm -mm. and so do you film all of it yourself on your little um, I do film most of it like 75% of it myself Good. and my flatmate um, films like the um, shit black boys say she helped me film most of that because obviously um, there was no way I could act with my yes, hands. Of course, and, and film, film as well. So yeah. So, so I'm, I'm sure she'll want her commission <laughs> when you're flying yes. high and, and building up Hopefully. your business empire. Hopefully. Yeah. Yes. And what was the one most important thing you would say to other young girls? So I see you as a young entrepreneur. You're going to have your law degree as well. Thank you're you. going to be blazing up the place. <laughs> what is that? What is that? What are you going to say to inspire our little girls out there who want to do what you do? I would say... Or do something else. Oh, yeah. There's only one you. But you can do something else yeah. that is you, but it's doing the same, bringing the same message and saying something. Mm -mm. Um, I would say, um, I think for me, uh, growing up, a lot of people, even my, my parents sometimes, like, a lot of the time, almost all the time, like, stood or, like, would stomp on what I wanted or, or on my dreams. Mm -mm. And that hindered me a lot. I, if if I didn't pay any mind to them, I probably would have started YouTubing a long time ago. I probably would yes. have been better at writing a long time ago. But um, I would just say, don't let anyone tell you you can't do something. Mm. Um, yeah, and if you fully, wholeheartedly believe in it, then you should pursue it with everything in you, really. Definitely. And um, just to, to concur with that, I want you to know, regardless of what happened to you in the past, never let you stop what you're gonna to do tomorrow. And remember, if you didn't do it then, it's okay, because everything at the right time. Okay, Thank and this, this is your time, this is your <laughs> time is now. So Thank make you. sure you check out that sweet poetry on YouTube, blowing up the place, giving you messages, <laughs> sending you out love, and then you even have good weed and good makeup. And I watched the one about the eyebrows, I even plucked my eyebrows. <laughs> so you need to watch out for that, and remember, when you shine, I shine and that sweet poetry will be shining too. Take good care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>